Let's face it, many of us, myself included, are in dire need of a haircut. But with barber shops and salons closed, some people are looking for the next best thing. As 13 Wham's Andrew Banis explains, well, in desperate times, they call for desperate measures. Warning, viewer discretion is advised. So I'm just cutting away and I start playing barber and I'm like, so how are the wife and kids? This is a hair raising true story of a Fairport woman tasked with cutting her husband's hair. Everything was fine until suddenly it wasn't. I think I blacked out because I honestly don't really remember the exact moment how I noticed that I had royally messed up this haircut. She's not alone. With barbershops closed, many of us are picking up clippers and scissors for the first time, cutting our own hair or maybe our kids. It went well, could have went better. Or perhaps we're having our significant others lend a hand. I was a little nervous. <laughs> I didn't want to scalp him. Elizabeth Crony is now a seasoned vet, giving her husband, Ed, his second quarantine haircut. I figured it out as we went along. Lift, trim, layer. The truth is, we're all figuring it out as we go. Most people have a haircut like yours, Andrew. They don't want a buzz. Mary Rittersbach is the owner of Doug's Barbershop in Rochester. She's looking forward to opening again, but in the meantime, she's offering some advice. Buying a good clipper is a good starting point. They should always make sure that they have uh, at least three attachments, a number three, a number two, and a number one included. Go light at first. You can always take more off, but you can't add any back. And most importantly, never lose your cool. What if somebody just messes, like, I mean, they just take a chunk right through. Section everything that was long away from the short and then I would continue to finish it with that length. Remember, even if it looks like this, it will grow back, right? I have a whole new respect for stylists and barbers because that job is not easy. In Rochester, Andrew Banus, 13 Wham News.